Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Less than an hour ago, some of the Hero Talents for Monk just got released. There are two trees up, so I would try to go through both of them. This is the Conduits of the Celestials, and there's another one called Shadow Pan Monk. So we're going to go through, bo through both of them. Uh, the first one, the Shadow Pan Monk, is Brewmaster and Windwalker. And the second one is Mistweaver slash Windwalker. So I'm assuming the third one is going to be Mistweaver Brewmaster. Uh, which is going to be pretty interesting. I don't know how that's going to go. I don't know what kind of tree that's going to be. But I want to start off with the Mistweaver and Windwalker one. Because I feel like this is going to be mostly geared towards fist weaving. Alright, so this is the Conduit of the Celestials. And I do want to note that Hero Talents, eventually you're going to have them all. And I'm going to just go down each column. But eventually you're going to have, I believe you get 10 points while leveling. And you get the first one for free. The first node. And then eventually there's 9, 10. So eventually, even though I'm explaining each one by columns, eventually every spec is going to have a fully unlocked tree, right? So you're going to have all of these talents at once. We have the Conduit of the Celestials, which is Mistweaver slash Windwalker. And you take the Celestial Conduit. So it's a minute and a half cooldown. And the Celestials empower you, causing you to radiate nature damage onto enemies and healing up to five inch allies within 20 yards over four seconds, split evenly among them. Healing and damage increased by 6% for enemy struck, up to 30%. And then you may move while channeling, but casting other healing or damage spells cancels this effect. Well, that's interesting. Okay, so this is just like a, uh, this is a just a channeled spell, and it just does a ton of AoE damage, increases dam uh, the healing damage done depending on enemy struck. So up to five enemies gives you the, the max damage. This is actually insane. And healing. Uh, this is kind of cool. Obviously, this is going to be really good for Mythic Plus. And even in Arena, this is going to be good versus like Hunters, Demo Warlocks, DKs, anything like that. Or against Cleaves with this two or three people stacked up. So this is this is uh, pretty nice. Um, Celestial Conduit's channel will not break to using defensive, utility, or movement spells. Okay, so you'll be able to use like Tiger's Luster Roll while channeling this. This is actually really good. But a uh, minute and a half cooldown. I feel like Mistweaver has always been super weak because we just have either minute cooldown or like a three minute cooldown in PvE. And then in PvP, we only have like, you know, minute and a half cooldowns. And this is another one so that we can rotate between. So that's really, really nice. Um, and then we have, I guess on the left hand side, we have Temple Training. So the healing of Enveloped Mist and Vivify is increased by 10% <laughs> for Mistweaver. Okay. All right. Fist of Fury and Spinning Crane Kick deal 10% more damage. Just some damage and healing buffs. Teaching of the Monastery has a 15% chance to refund a charge when consumed. The damage of Tiger Palms increased by 30%. Wait, that's... It was Wen's Guidance, the Teaching of the Monastery, that's really good. So you have a chance to Blackout Kick, use a bunch of stacks of Teaching of the Monastery, and then you can... If you get any charges refunded, you can Blackout Kick on top of that. That's actually kind of... That's really good. That's really good for just damage output, especially just fist weaving in general. This is, if, if we're fist weaving, this this is it right here. Like, that's really, really good. Holy cow. You'll be able to do so much damage, especially in PvP. Like, if you have a bunch of stacks of uh, Teaching the Monastery, and then you press it again, and you get even more stacks, get refunded, you just do so much damage, especially when this pets around. So that's that's awesome. Oh, wow. I didn't know there were, like, two more tiers after this. Okay. Uh I guess on the left-hand side still, Heart of the Jade Serpent. So consuming eight stacks of Shailun's Gift causes Yulon to decrease the cooldown time of Renewing Mist, Rising Sun Kick, Life Cocoon, and Thunder Focus Seed by 100% for eight seconds. Okay. That, that's so good. Okay, so this is obviously geared towards Fist Weaving. And then you get the cooldown reduction on Life Cocoon, Thunder Focus Seed, Rising Sun Kick, and Renewing Mist. This is so good. So you just get the lower cooldown on Life Cocoon. Which is insane, and then Thunder Focus T gives you more Rising Sun Kicks. So that's even better. You need to make sure you use eight stacks of Shailen's Gift, though. Otherwise, you're just kind of a uh, you're not going to get value out of that. But obviously, if you're fist weaving, you kind of want to use that like eight plus stacks anyway. Um, and then for Woodwalker, consuming thirty Chi causes Yulon to decrease the cooldown of Rising Sun Kick, Fist of Fury, Strike of the Windlord, and Whirling Dragon Punch by a hundred percent for eight seconds. Holy cow! Wow, that is the, this cooldown reduction is kind of insane, actually. Um, Especially 30 Chi. That's amazing. This, this is really, really good. Heart of the Jade Serpent's required stacks to activate for Mistweaver will charge to 16. When Towed into Veil of Pride passive. Okay. Where's, oh, wow. Okay. I didn't know that. That's that's wild. Okay. So I guess Veil of Pride is because it, it makes you get stacks of Shaylin's Gift faster. So you're going to need to use 16 um, if you're using that talent, which is this talent right here. I have Wild pulled up. Veil of Pride is right here. 
So you get it. It cuts the the amount of time in half to get stacks of Shadowlands gift. Okay, that's good to know. Wow. Uh, Nayuzu's protection, fortifying group. Grant you oh my lord! Finally, grant you absorption shield for twenty five percent of your maximum health. This is this was in in Shadowlands. This was a conduit. So this was this is really good. This is uh, monks need this. All right, monks need this. You heal for ten percent of your max health instantly when you activate celestial conduit, and receive fifty percent less damage for its duration. What? So when when you press this channel, when you channel this, you get healed for ten percent of your max health. And you receive 15% less damage. So that's just a wall. Like, let's just say you're, it's like, you're in a pinch and like, you need also need damage reduction. And you have this cooldown. You get a bunch of healing and damage. And then you also take 15% less damage. That's so good. That is so freaking good. All right. And then unity within celestial conduit can be recast once during its duration to call upon all of the August celestial. So assist you for 200% effectiveness. Unity within is automatically cast when celestial conduit ends. Oh my God. Wait, that's so good. So you get all of them. This is insane. I think this is a spell that we've all been asking for for so long. This is amazing. I love this. This is this is so good. This is I'm so happy right now. This is so good. Uh, going down the middle, we have Courage of the White Tiger. So Tiger Palm is a 15% chance to cause Yuan to claw your target for physical damage. Healing a nearby ally for 200% of the damage done. Chances increase while invoke Yulon the Jade's invoke Yulon Jade's sermon or invoke Chiji the Red Queen's active. Wow. So. 15% chance. That's obviously, it includes Invoke Yulon, but obviously Yulon, you're not going to be doing much fist weaving with Yulon up, unless you're raiding, I think. But with Chiji up, this is just more passive healing. This is just insane passive healing, making Chiji even better uh, while it's active. So that's cool. Tiger Palm has a 15% chance to cause Yuan to claw your target during physical damage. Healing anywhere out of 100% of the damage done. Chances increase while evokes Yuan. So I guess Windwalker just gets some passive healing um, from Tiger Palm while she ends up and just in general. So that's that's kind of good. I don't know if 15% chance isn't that high of a chance, but if you use it often during an arena game or like in PvE, that's pretty good. I don't know how much damage Tiger Palm is doing for Windwalker though. For Mistweaver, it's not doing the most, but we still press it a lot. Strength of the Black Ox. So Mistweaver, after Zhuen assists you, your next enveloping mist cast time is reduced by 50% causes Nairzu to grant an absorption shield of five number allies for 5% of the maximum health. After Zhuen assists you, your next blackout kick causes not usually to stomp on the ground, dealing damage to nearby enemies, reducing reduce bound five targets. So this is good area damage for um, Windwalkers here. Obviously, this is more geared to like Mythic Keystones. This one right here, after Zhuan assists you, maybe I'm crazy. The August Celestials empower you, cause you. So maybe all of these, maybe something gets summoned here, and then after Zhuan assists you, you get an absorption shield, and then Chiji Swift as your movement speed is increased by twenty five percent during Celestial Condo, and for three seconds being assisted by any Celestial. And then on the right hand side, so restore balance. Mistweaver, gain refreshing Jade Wind while Chiji the Red Crane or Yulon the Jade Serpent is active. Gain refreshing Jade Wind while Zhuan the White Tiger is active. Oh my god. Okay, so you just AoE healing and damage here. Um, this seems really good for raiding. I don't think in PvP, maybe in RBGs, the restore balance will be good just because you're, you know, you're in a group of 10, so you have a lot of people to heal. But. I don't know. So this one seems weird. I mean, this could be good for Windwalker, though, with the um, AoE damage. Yulon's Knowledge. Refreshing Jade Wind's duration is increased by 10 seconds. Refreshing Jade Wind's duration is increased by 4 seconds, and multiple uses may overlap. Okay, so you just have, like, infinite Refreshing Jade Winds. So if you manage your mana too well, you can just have permanent Refreshing Jade Wind. Flight of the Red Crane, please let me fly. Please. Refreshing Jade Wind and Spinning Crane Kick have a chance to cause Chi-Gi to quickly rush to 5 targets, healing each target. We don't get to fly. Damn. But this is good. More AoE healing from Miss Weaver. Refreshing Jade Wind and Spinning Crane Kick have a chance to cause Chi to quickly rush to five targets, dealing physical damage to each target struck. That's that's wild. You, you, I feel like Windwalker is getting so much AoE damage. That's crazy. So you just have a chance to just proc a Chi that does damage, which isn't bad at all. Inner Compass, you switch between alignments after an August Celestial assists you, increasing a corresponding secondary stat by 3%. So Crane Stance, Haste, Tiger Stance, Crit. Ox Stance Verse, Serpent Stance Mastery. And then August Dynasty. Casting Jade Fire Stomp increases damage of your next Rising Sun Kick. Oh my god. Or healing of your next Vivify 50%. That is really good for PvP. And then you go into Unity within. Wow. This tree is exactly what I thought it would be. <laughs> I swear. Yeah, this, this tree is exactly what I thought it would be. Just the increased healing to Envelopment Mist and Vivify. The 
eight, the Shalem's Gift and the cooldown reduction um, from Heart of the Jade Serpent, and then obviously the Fort Brew Shield is, and then the heal while you have while you're channeling Celestial Conduit is just amazing, and then Unity Within is, is amazing as well. But this tree is exactly what I thought it would be. I'm very interested in this Shuen's Guidance as well. I think this is this is gonna be really good. I feel like yeah, the increased damage of Tiger Palm and then. Being able to get refunded on the teachings of the monastery is is huge. You get everything in this tree, so I, this is gonna be pretty freaking insane, man. This tree is gonna be so good. So that's all they have right now. I don't believe they released the Mistweaver uh, Brewmaster one, which is Master of Harmony. So we will wait to see how that looks. I have no idea how that's gonna look. That's gonna be very interesting, but. Yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I am more than happy to answer any questions. I don't know how I would respond to any questions. This just came out, and there isn't a beta out yet. So I am excited. Hopefully, this, um, this makes other people excited, and that is it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic website. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later.